I was on a lecture tour in Australia not long ago, and the press interviewed me. And they asked me, Mr. Rohn, are you one of those American motivators? I said, no, I'm a businessman. I can share my ideas and my experiences, but people have to motivate themselves. Hey, I found out you can't change people. They can change themselves, but you can't change them. Lord knows I've tried. I had a super group of salespeople back in those early days, and I said, I'm going to make them successful if it kills me. Guess what? I almost died. You can't do that. In management, we learn good people are found, not changed. If you want good people, you have to find them. That's the best answer I can give you. If you want motivated people, you have to find them, not motivate them. The first rule of management is don't send your ducks to Eagle School. Why? Because it won't work. I've tried it all. I picked up a magazine not long ago in New York, which had a full-page ad in it for a hotel chain. The first line of the ad read, We do not teach our people to be nice. Now that got my attention. And the second line said, We simply hire nice people. I thought, what a clever shortcut. Motivation is a mystery. Why some people are and some are not. Why does one person in sales see his first prospect at 7 in the morning and the other salesperson sees his first prospect at 11 in the morning? Why would one start at 7 and the other start at 11? I don't know. I call it mysteries of the mind. I give a lecture to a thousand people. One walks out and says, I'm going to change my life. Someone else walks out with a yawn and says, I've heard all this stuff before. Why is that? Why aren't they both affected the same? I don't know. I call it mysteries of the mind. A wealthy man says to a thousand people, I read this book and it started me on the road to wealth. Guess how many people of the thousand go out and get the book? Answer, very few. Isn't that incredible? Why wouldn't everyone go get the book? It's called mysteries of the mind. To one person you say, you better slow down. You can't work that many hours, do that many things, go, go, go. You're going to have a heart attack and die. And to another person you say, when are you ever going to get off the couch? What is the difference? It's called mysteries of the mind. Why wouldn't everyone strive to be wealthy and happy? I don't know. It's a mystery. So be self-motivated. Don't give that job away to someone else. The guy says, boy, if someone will just come by and turn me on. Hey, what if he doesn't show up? You've got to have a better plan for your life. Since you're self-motivated, and I would assume that you are since you've invested your money, and now you're investing your time to gather good ideas for more success. You know, you get on an airplane, what's the first thing they say? If we get into trouble, mask will come down, oxygen's there, and the first thing you gotta do is put it on your kid, right? No, why? They, who do they tell you to put it on? Yourself, you selfish bastard. What's the deal here, right? <laughs> but it's because if we don't take care of ourselves, we can't care of them. So for leaders, what I always tell them is, it's you first. It starts with you, and it starts with your psychology. 80% of growing a business, if you look at what the chokehold is on a business, it's always the leader, and 80% of that chokehold is the psychology, 20% is the mechanics. I mean, people in this room know the mechanics and strategies beyond what anybody on earth knows in their category, so it's really about you being in the state where you execute. It's like I always tell people, knowledge is not power, it's total BS. Knowledge is potential power. Execution trumps knowledge every day of the week, and so my life is, how do you get to yourself to execute? And execution comes from learning to put yourself in that right state every day. I, after that, wrote this thing called A Discourse on Truth. Right, and I had I had it bound up wow. at Kinko's, and it looked really nice, and I had the perfect font, and I got A4 paper, <laughs> and I, I I made like a hundred copies of it, and it was this like very highfalutin kind of very pretentious, worded thing that went through truth and ways to know it and things like that, and I gave it to all my family and my friends wow. who were like, you know, what is this thing? You know, this looks like he just you know, so but it was so important for me. And when you, when you learn how to, uh, to listen to your own story and write it down, I think self-awareness is like an inevitable byproduct of that mm. because you get addicted to knowing what you think about something. 
Yeah, I think there's this weird state we all have. You know, we're operating on old memories and we're operating on things that we read but we haven't really like retained. As soon as you start transferring that whole messy, cloudy, misty uh, area of knowledge into explicit knowledge, you're gonna start seeing a lot more in yourself and what's out there. Uh, and so my advice is to write, just write and the rest will follow. If I was to be asked, what is my greatest advice to give you as a young man or young woman, it would be this message. People are not looking for you. They are looking for what you are carrying. And if you don't manifest what you are carrying, the world will ignore you. Because you exist doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Because you are on the planet doesn't mean that people are going to notice you. You can live an entire life and not be noticed by humanity. We can bury you in a cemetery and we would never know you were here except for that tombstone. And the reason is because most of the humans on earth live on earth but never manifest themselves. And so the most important goal in your life should be self-manifestation. But sometimes as it goes on month after month, even year after year, and we don't see anything changing, it's easy to get discouraged and think, this is never going to happen. This is as good as it gets. I'll just learn to live with it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter, Think, why is this happening to me? I think that decision making is a part of the issue of assertiveness. We always think about assertiveness and how assertiveness you can be with other people. But you have to be assertive with yourself and make personal decisions. Your success every day. Success is a daily thing, not a destination thing. So many times people have a, have a tendency to devalue the moment today. What they do is they greatly value the destination. And so they kind of talk about, well, when I get there, or if I arrive there, or when I do that, or when I accomplish this. And they don't understand that success is a daily thing. And I'm here to share with you that the secret of success is determined by your daily agenda. If you are what you think about then you have to start getting real careful about what you think about. If you want to attract something into your life, if you want to attract that into your life, but you're talking about what's missing and thinking about what's missing, and you understand that what you think about is what expands, you will continue to expand more of what's missing and you'll continue to attract what's missing in your life. I never talk about what's missing in my life.